Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very, very exciting video for you guys, and that is the Lorac and Disney's Beauty and the Beast makeup collection collaboration. My mom was lucky enough to get her hands on the eyeshadow palette and the lipstick collection, so she was kind enough to let me swatch these for you guys, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I am so glad that someone decided to do a Beauty and the Beast themed makeup collection because I remember the movie was coming out and I was so, so excited because I love the Beauty and the Beast cartoon and I was so excited that they were finally coming out with the actual movie and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for someone to drop a makeup collection and it just wasn't happening and then out of the blue, Lorac decided to come up with the Beauty and the Beast makeup collection, so we were really, really excited about it. This collection is limited edition, so it has been pretty hard to get your hands on. So if you haven't been able to get it yet and it's sold out, I did see on the Lorac Instagram page that it should be coming to Ulta and Kohl's soon. So. Um, I'm not sure about the date, but I did see that, so it's very, very promising, so look out for that. Also, I have another video coming out for you guys. I just filmed it right before this video, and that is a video on full face makeup with nothing but makeup samples, and this is the look that I created with it, so if you would like to see that, then keep your eyes out for that. So, I'm going to jump right into the Beauty and the Beast Lorac lipstick swatches and eyeshadow swatches so if you would like to see those then please keep on watching okay so like i said my mom did get her hands on the eyeshadow palette and the lipstick collection so i'm going to jump right into the lipstick collection this is the packaging for it the actual lipstick packaging on this is so it's so pretty. It is just, they did such a great job on it. So here is a close-up of the packaging. So it has clear, pack, like a clear cap with gold roses on it. And then when you open, when you take the cap off, it has Beauty and the Beast on the lipstick tube. And then on the other side, it has Lorac. And then again, on the bottom of the lipstick, you have the actual color of the lipstick and then more gold roses. So they just did a really, really fantastic job with this packaging. I am just so impressed with this. It's really, really beautiful. So when you pick up the lipstick collection, you do get five lipsticks. And these are cream lipsticks which I'm really excited about. So there is a lip gloss collection as well, which comes with five lip glosses. And I want to say I'm pretty sure the lip glosses are the same colors as the lipsticks. So they're intended to pair perfectly together. But unfortunately, I don't have the lip glosses, so I'm just gonna be swatching the lipsticks for you guys. So I'm gonna start off with this pinky color right here. And this is in the color True Beauty. So there is the color True Beauty. This looks like a really, really pretty pinky nudie color. This looks like it's going to be perfect for spring, for spring and just like a perfect everyday lip color. The next one that I am going to swatch for you guys is called Savior Fair. Savior Fair. Fair. I don't know if I'm saying that or not. So unfortunately when these were delivered it was really really hot that day and the lipstick, some of the lipsticks did melt a little bit. Um, so that's why this one's a little bit messed up. And this is the color Savor Fair and this looks like more of a brownie nude. So there is the shade Savor Fair. That is a really, really pretty color as well. So the next color that I'm going to swatch for you guys is called Believe. And this looks more like a mauve color. Also, these have a very slight 
like vanilla smell they smell really really nice this color is really pretty oh my gosh I think this one is my favorite so far here is the color Believe and this color actually really reminds me of her lip the color of her lips in the cartoon I don't know if that is what they intended but just looking at the color that's immediately what I thought of I really really love that that is beautiful so the next one that I'm going to swatch for you guys is called Red Rose and this looks like a true red. I love a good red. This looks like it has more of a blue undertone. So there is the color Red Rose. This is a really, really pretty color and it's actually a little bit of a, it's more of a brighter red. I thought it was going to be a deeper red, but this looks like it has more of a bright red to it with a little bit of blue undertone and last but not least the one the last one i'm going to swatch for you guys and the last one that you get in this collection is called tres chic i think that's how you pronounce it and this looks more like a true brown this one got a little melted as well but here is the color tres chic this looks like more of a chocolate brown it's really really pretty this is going to be perfect for fall and again here is a close-up of the five colors that you get in the collection i really really love the shades that came in this collection because it's a wide variety um you have like a cute a cute everyday color some deeper colors, a bright red, and a dark brown. So I definitely think that they did a good job with this collection. Okay, so moving on into the eyeshadow palette of the collection. This is the packaging. It is a gold reflective box with an outline of a red rose on it. Really, really pretty. And then it also has the eyeshadow and eyeshadow names on the back. And then here is the actual palette. It is so pretty they did such a great job with the packaging on the outside it says tale as old as time and this is actually supposed to be like a little book and if you are familiar with the beauty and the beast story you know that Belle loved her books so you open it up and then there is a little mirror in here and then it has this red ribbon like a little bookmark and it comes with a double-sided brush and then here is a look at the palette up close so this palette comes with 16 eyeshadows and it looks like it's a variety of mattes and shimmers so reading straight from the Lorac Instagram it says 16 pro formula shades each row corresponding to one of Belle's iconic moments in the film. So I thought that was so cool that they incorporated that into the palette and into the design of it. Just looking at the second row, these colors look like they were inspired from her debut at the ball with the Beast um, from the blue and that is from the Beast suit to the golds that and yellows that were in her dress. I just think that they... It was such a clever idea that they did that and really had the colors of the shades inspired from the movie. So I just thought that was a really, really nice touch and that they really did capture the details from both the cartoon and the movie. And then right here in the corner, it just says true beauty is found within, which I thought that was such a really nice note that they put and also incorporates with the film because we know that um, the whole point of Beauty and the Beast is to break the spell and for Belle to fall in love with the Beast regardless of his outside appearance. And I just think that they did such a great job with the packaging and with the small details in this collection. So I'm really, really excited about this collection. And I am just, I think they just did a really fabulous job. So if you haven't gotten your hands on any of it yet, I hope that you're able to do so. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the eyeshadow swatches, so if you would like to see swatches of all 16 shades, then please keep on watching.
So those were the eyeshadows in the collection. They were all really, really pigmented and super creamy, like just felt like butter. I love Lorac shadows. I haven't used the Beauty and the Beast ones on my eyes. I mean, they felt just like the Lorac Pro palette. So I have no doubt that the formula when applying is just as great. But those are the eyeshadows. Really, really beautiful. Like I said, they did such a great job tying it into both of the movies and to the storyline. Ultimately, I mean, what it's going to come down to is if you are a fan of the shades or if you are a makeup collector or if you just are a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. Like I said, this is a limited edition collection, so if you haven't gotten your hands on it yet, I would keep checking the Lorac site. I don't know if they're going to be restocking any of the products that are sold out, but like I said earlier in the video, from their Instagram, it does sound like they are going to be bringing this collection to Ulta and Kohl's, so I would definitely check out, look out for that. So I know in the collection there's also glosses and then I think a cheek palette. I don't have those, but just from the eyeshadows and the lipsticks, I really, really love this collection. The lipsticks seemed really, really creamy and really, really pigmented, and they had such a great range of colors. And then the eyeshadows, like I said, it felt super buttery, super creamy, and the eyeshadows were just really, really pigmented as well. So I think that this collection, if you are a Beauty and the Beast fan and if you're a makeup collector, I definitely would recommend this collection to you. Like I said, this these are my mom's products and I am just so envious that she got her hands on it. So I might have to um, cave and get the lipsticks for myself. They're just so beautiful and I just, I have said it over and over, but I think they did such a great job with this collection and focusing on the Beauty and the Beast details. I mean, even when it comes down to the detail on the lipsticks with the gold rose I just think they did such a great job with this collection so I'm really really excited about it and I'm so glad that a makeup brand did do a collection of Beauty and the Beast because I like I said I was just waiting and waiting for someone to do a Beauty and the Beast inspired makeup collection and it I was just no one had done it so I was so glad that Lorac kind of surprised us with this and it is just I'm really really happy with it. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any of this collection and how you guys have been liking it and if, what products you want to get if you don't have any of it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And thank you so much for watching. That's it for today. Bye guys.